Self-test on the uh, four-wheel drive shift module and a 96 Ford Bronco. Uh, <clears throat> first things first, you disconnect two connectors here. There's this one and then there's one kind of back there. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's the only two connectors you can really get to to pull off, so. Turn your key on. Wait four seconds for the module to power up. Uh, by the way, I took my kick panel off here to get to this. And then there's a white button. Right, right there. You just push on it. You hear it click, and then that LED flashes. That means your four-wheel drive shift module is fully functional. This module is still good. So, if you can't get four-wheel drive in these electronic shift trucks, then that's definitely one of the things you should uh, check out, that and your fuses. So the next step in fixing this uh, four-wheel drive fucking issue I got going on here is uh, the only thing that I have left to think, I checked the fuses and I checked, I did the self-test on the, the four-wheel drive shift module. Uh, and I also replaced the shift motor. There's the old one over there sitting on the table, it's all rusted out. But uh, I, I took the old one, or the, the new one that I put on this one, I took it off of another truck that it, it looked like it was in good condition. I couldn't imagine that it was broken, but I did not test it. Uh, but next step, I'm gonna take this dash bezel off because I have fucked with this thing before. And um, I might have forgot to plug the switch back in behind here. So I'm gonna see if it's plugged in or if there's a connection problem back there and we'll see if that might be the issue. So basically, I took my bat bezel off here. You got these uh, these plastic pieces that clip in there. You just take a small flathead and I pry them out. Be gentle with them because they can be pretty brittle. Uh, but anyway, take uh, that out and then there's a screw back there. Same on the other side, screw back there. Uh, you have to take your light uh, switch, like the plastic piece off this thing. And then, like I said, this wasn't even plugged in. So you can see that switch there, the, uh, the switch has actually fell behind my thing that was hidden back behind the dash. So I'm going to plug that in and sure shit, you know, this is going to probably work now. So that's cool. So I'm just going to test it right quick and show you, put it in neutral. Yeah, sir. And low range. So, stupid, but I guess uh, I guess I forgot to plug that back in. But just to follow you through the steps, if you don't have it, either your shift module's bad or your shift motor's bad. There's really not, or your fuses are bad too. You're probably gonna find the problem if you look at all those. 